Hello everybody and welcome to episode 111 of the Let's Play World. Got a bunch of stuff we're going to accomplish today. I want to show you some work I've done on the rail line. I want to finish one of our subway stops. I want to complete one section of our zoo today. But first, let's start off in the map room. So last episode we were having some trouble finding a mushroom island. And as you can see, I have expanded the map quite a lot. I did a little bit of research and I think somewhere over here we might find a mushroom island. But if I'm going to add a whole row over here, I just felt it was right to add a whole row over here. So it made the map much, much larger. So between episodes, I did some work on our rail line and I'll kind of show you what's going on here. So when we go down now, I connected all of the stations. So I dug this all the way out to our West Village stop. And then I dug this one all the way out to our monument stop. And I connected all of them up. This is the only one that has rails in it so far. I still need to do the powered rails. And I started to sketch out a little bit of what this is going to look like. So it's going to be slabs on the floor on either side, slabs on the ceiling on either side, and then we'll probably use frog lights, probably about every 30 blocks. So it's kind of sparsely lit. But that's kind of the plan with the tunnels. And then each of the stations is going to have a little bit of a different look. What I want to do is I want to go out to the monument station and start on that one today. And so since we're here, I figured we might as well dig our way over. And that way, we can at least get some stuff done. We've got this tunnel all lit up and all wired up, and now we just need to build a subway platform. This subway station is done. You can see it here, it looks really cool. 
I loosely based this off of the Washington, D.C. metro stops. They have this sort of really sterile, concrete, curved ceiling kind of look with this sort of bricky clay uh, platform. We look back, you can see I've got the blue line that goes out to the East Village, and we've got the red line that goes to Old Town. The trains don't go any farther this way, so I just put some art on the wall. I think it looks real good. And this line here, if we were to hop in, it is actually complete. So I've got the frog lights about every 30 blocks just to keep it kind of lit up. And I put slabs on the ceilings and the floors so it's spawn proof. Looks a little bit structural. I left the uh, other blocks though. I think it makes it a little less boring and a lot of subway lines are real kind of tore up anyway, so I think it looks pretty good. As we come around here, we're going to roll into our East Village station, which I haven't done any work on yet. Lots more work to do, but I think that's a really great start. I think the last thing I want to do today is track down a mushroom, but first, I think I came up with an idea for this space. Some of you might have an idea of what's going on here, but for those of you who don't, I have put down dripstone, and underneath each of these blocks is a little pointed dripstone. And if we were to put mud on top of this dripstone, it will eventually turn into clay. I'm getting very low on bricks, and we could go and tear up like a lush cave or something like that to find a bunch of clay, but I figured it'd be better to have a sustainable way of, of making clay. So you can already see it start to change there. And then we can turn the clay into bricks. As far as the mud, I had considered making a mud farm, but that mangrove swamp that we found is so big, I don't think we're gonna have any trouble finding mud. And finally, let's go see if we can find a mushroom island. So we had run out here and I think we're gonna go all the way out here this time. Aha! Yes, this is what we were after. Oh my goodness, mushrooms. It's much further away. It was one whole map further away than I was expecting to go. Wow, this is a big mushroom island. This is very cool. Hmm, okay. Well, now the trick is, how do I get a couple of these guys back? Well, I think what we're gonna do is wait till the sun goes down so I can start first thing in the morning and we'll just grab a couple of these and just swim our way back. I 
I take you. Take you. And there we have our mushrooms. So now that we've got them in here, that means a fantastical part of the zoo is completed. And we can take fantastical mobs off of our wall of tasks. Like I said earlier, we have a pretty good source of mud, it turns out. And with our clay farm, I feel like we can take this off the wall of tasks as well. We also finished up our green space monument and turned it into a subway station. I am going to add one thing, bamboo farm. With the new bamboo wood set, that's definitely going to be something that we're going to want. We're getting really close to being done on some of these bigger projects. You know, the zoo is getting close, the city is getting close, it's very, very exciting. If you're over on my Discord, I've got a channel over there called Suggestion Box, or you can leave me a comment, and I'm always looking for more things to add to the wall of tasks. Also, starting today, I'm going to be doing a giveaway for some Todd13 merchandise, so if you want to get on that, I'll leave a link in the description so you can go over to my Discord and check it out. We wound up going a lot further. We went about this far from base to find that Mushroom Island. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to take this empty row here and scoot it down to this side and then shift the whole map over. That way everything's still nice and centered. But I'll take care of that between episodes. And I think that's where I'm going to wrap this one up. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you had fun. Please like and subscribe if you want to follow along on the adventure. And I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.